y'all doing? All right. Wanted to say welcome. Glad y'all joined us. Y'all, we're in a new location today. Yes. We're actually in a new state. Yes. We're in Baltimore, y'all. Baltimore, Maryland. Yes. So we're, we're excited about today's show. Join it, yes. And Kenna, you know I got to do what I usually do. Well, hey, might as well do it. Might as well do it. Make sure you like, subscribe, right. yes. and hit that notification oh, bell yeah. so you'll know when we come on. Yes. We're excited, y'all. This yes. is going to be a great show. It's going to be a great one. So I can't wait till y'all hear what we talking Looking about to today. Looking forward to seeing you. Yes. 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 Hey y'all, I just wanted to just uh, let y'all know we're really excited about today's show. Yes. Like I said earlier, y'all, we're in a new location. Kenna, how are you doing today? It's a great day today. I'm beautiful. It's beautiful weather. We're out here in a beautiful country. Yes. Beautiful. Just yes. great. We are really enjoying y'all. I'm just going to let y'all see it real quick. This is our view. I just want y'all to see it real quick. Yes. We are by the Chesapeake Bay. So I wanted y'all to see that. That's where we are. Oh, yes. So we are in Baltimore, but wanted to come to you and give you just a different atmosphere that we're at, a different, different location. So different I know yes. I'm moving the camera, but that's okay. Yeah. My producer not here. We're doing this on our own. Yes. So, yeah, we got a really exciting show for you this evening, y'all. Yes. Uh, I had someone to email me and um, ask me this question, Kenna, and I was okay. kind of like, wow, d does this still happen? You know, okay. I was wondering if, the, if things like this really still happen. So someone uh, emailed me and they asked me, they said that their uh, spouse was with their friend. Okay. Spouse was with his, his friend. friend. Yeah, his he friend. was okay. with, his, with friend. his friend. Okay. And they had went to the casino. Okay. So him and his friend went to the casino. They actually left late. So they left about 10, 10 ish, got okay. to the casino by 10 ish. 10 at night, okay, 10 at night. I'm okay. Gotcha. okay. And so she asked, him was he gonna be there all night you okay. know like when you, you this is no spend the night thing you just go you know do your gambling yeah okay. kind of okay. that type of deal so okay. do your gambling and come on back so they did uh he arrived there safely okay. which was good good and so she, like i said she ended up texting and uh said i know this is not gonna be a seven o'clock or eight o'clock morning so come home at least about three or four but think okay. about 10 11 12 1 2 3 that's about five hours i think that's good okay so she uh asked and then uh i'm saying she emailed she actually texted and then she texted me probably about 10 that morning and asked me what would what would you do in this situation that they're still not here the spouse is still not at home wow Wow. 10 o'clock in the morning the That's spouse is 12 hours later maybe? 12 hours later okay. yes 12 hours later. they were okay. they left did the casino, still went home at 10 a.m. And so uh, said, finally, they didn't come home to about one or two. Wow. One wow. or two five. So, wow. Kenna, you know, I got you. So, okay. Kenna, what would you do? Uh, here we go. I'm hanging here out with my friend. We go to the casino. I don't go to the casino. Let me throw that out there. But I'm hanging out. I'm, I mean. And you wouldn't go and stay that late, huh? No. Nah, I mean, you never know. So, I'm there. And what, what you know, what, what would, how would you handle that situation? Wow. That's, that's a good conversation. How would you handle that situation? That would, that would have to be a conversation. You know, if it was beginning of our marriage, it would be to really be rough. But now we are, have almost 26 years in. That would have to be a conversation. Well, I'm I would have to know, first of all, what took you so long and you know what were you doing that took you so long to stay there? Well, let me First help you out. This what, this is not a begin. This this couple was married like ten plus years. Ten okay, years. Okay. Okay. Ten years. In. They got okay. ten years under their belt. Yeah. Well, we would have to have a real serious conversation. What is keeping you out that long? You know uh, uh, that you can't come home. You can't contact me. You can't let me know that you know you're out that late. Well, because I'm 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 really gonna start getting concerned. Well, I'm gonna be first of all I'm gonna be nervous be that, that you may be I'm nervous that you may be in trouble. You may be stranded on the side of the road. Anything could happen, you know. So I was gonna be asking a whole lot of questions. Well, let me just say this: you know, when you're at the casino, I'm just saying if you and I was there, it would just be a whole lot of you know we you know you get caught up when you're in casino. You yeah, can't tell if yeah. it's daylight, if you can't yeah. tell if it's night. Yeah. So I but you have a watch on you. Have a cell phone on, and I know it's clocks all the way in the place, so that wouldn't be an excuse. But you know, that would be a serious conversation that you, a grown woman and married, you want to stay out that late at night until the wee wee hours of the morning. That would have to be a serious but, conversation but, with us. But you knew where I was, is what I'm well, saying. I already nah. know where I am. <laughs> See, now you, know you got the wheels. My, now, now you, you know have the wheels of time. Now I had the wheels turning. Now I'm hanging out with my friend. Okay, you said, I know where you are. Yeah, you I do. know where you said you were. 
but you know, as time progressed and it got longer, and you stayed out longer than you know anticipated, you know, the wheels are gonna start turning in. You know, what's taking you so long to get back home? Are you gotcha. winning that much money? Are you having that much fun? I am. Or you can't contact me? So you me? don't trust me enough to uh, allow me to be out and have fun with my friend at that particular time? Trust has a lot to do with it. Okay. But at that time, you know, I'm thinking about responsibility. You know, you're not that responsible to call me and say, look, hey, I'm out here with, with my homegirl or with my cousin, and it's taking longer than expected. Right. You know, you're going to have to let me know, communicate with me, and let me know what's taking you so long because a woman that's married and grown, Staying out that late at night to the wee wee hours of the morning, that would have to be a conversation. We really would have to talk about that one. So, Kenneth says it's a conversation. He's saying almost like that's a serious conversation we have most to have because I'm wrong, most definitely. I'm married, and I'm out in the wee wee hours. But, and I'm just setting it up because you knew where I was, and I think that was the point that the spouse was saying. That's why I'm coming that angle. You knew where I was, you knew who I was with, you know, normally when I'm with you time you know how we get caught up in the time so this is nothing new you know you and i can go there and be there just like this time we can be there to the next morning you said a good thing you and i but it was not you and i it was okay. you and your friend your homegirl your cousin okay whoever it was you were with okay and if you had to stay out that long you know you know i, I probably couldn't sleep you know i'm probably you know where you know, every right. hour on the hour she okay. hadn't called one she hadn't called two she hadn't called a three you know right. Right. i look on my phone there's right. no text you know right you know i'm and my, my mind is thinking i hope it nothing happened to her right and she wasn't able to call me or i hope she hadn't gotten into any you know trouble where right. she that's stranded on the side of the road or something or right. anything, you know right. so you know at the same time you have my wheels are turning and i'm thinking at the same time but you're not responsible enough to let me know that you're still out there you know right Right. At the time you said you were exactly so that's the issue i think that is, and it's not necessarily the trust the issue you have was that i did not lack of communication uh, that's the issue i have with it you was lack right of communication yes lack of communication y'all said he said that you, you, lack of communication you didn't call me you didn't let me know nothing you having so much fun you know that you you know your brain went dead <laughs> You, know, <laughs> you have so much fun. That, oh, I'm not going to contact him because I'm having so much fun. I don't need to let my husband know it is, you know, 12, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, the sun has risen, and you don't have to let me know anything. Well, I don't think it's necessarily that, and that's why I was trying to come from that angle was that I don't think it's that I was having that much fun that I didn't let you know. I think the expectation was to me was already said that you knew I was going, you knew what I was doing, you knew... Who I was with and all of that and I think the problem was you probably didn't like the fact of the person I was with you think that may have had something to do with it now that may have had a lot to do with it okay because if I knew the history of the lady you were with your okay. cousin who you were with okay I knew her history and she may have may have been married or may not have been married before okay and I know her history and I'm saying like my wife is with this person who has a serious history you know, my wheel is going to really be turning in. But that's what I'm saying. I couldn't, couldn't it be that you trusted me, though? That's the point I'm trying to understand. I trust you, but I don't trust the person you were with. That's my problem. So, elaborate a little more. You trust me, but even though I'm out that late, you don't trust the person I'm with. Yeah, because so they can get into some mischief and then pull you into it, you know, you know, accidentally. Or maybe, you know, it, it just it just happened this way. You know, we ran across a couple of guys that, you know, we ran across and, and all of a sudden like now I'm that caught up in that. Now I'm caught up in that situation. So, you know, anything can happen. I trust you, but I just didn't trust your cousin or whoever it was you were with, your okay. friend. I just right, didn't trust right. him. So okay. that, that may have been my problem. May have been my problem. So what you think I could have done differently to even help this situation what could i have done differently that you see that i could have done differently i see that first of all this should have been better communication okay there should have been better communication if you that we say okay you, you're going to stay out past a certain time mm -hmm. and then you hit that certain time that should have been a, a text or a phone call or something saying look i'm out past my certain time that i said i was going to be out <laughs> you know it's going to be a little longer than usual because we're winning or whatever happens you know and maybe that could have eased the He's the pain a little bit. You know what? I love the fact that you talking about uh, better communication and there should have been a text. There should have just been a lot of better communication going on on that part. And that was just a situation that happened. But I'm yeah. a real. I'm gonna bring us in. You remember when you went to the Cowboy game and you? How long ago was that? <laughs> My goodness, I can't remember that one. 
I can't remember yes, that you one. Yes, you can. You went to the Cowboy game. So you're going to bring me in on the equation. I'm going to bring you in because you've had a chance. I'm going to bring us in to see because you just told me what I could have done better. So I'm going to see no, what you could have done. No, I told you what she should have done better. <laughs> Not what you should have done. Well, I'm gonna see what you could have done better. So you went to a cowboy game, right? You love oh, you, you're okay. a diehard. Yeah, we yeah. already know that you're a cowboy fan. You don't take me anymore. I already know why, but he don't take me to the games anymore, and I'm okay with that. So you went to a cowboy game, and you told me to meet you at your mom's house. So you didn't meet me at your mom's house. You didn't text. You didn't call. No communication. I know you're looking kind of strange now. All of a sudden, you had all the answers. So how could you have changed that situation? I mean, what could we have? What probably, could have probably could have did more texting, you know. Just you know, I don't like to text. Now that's a good, 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 hey, good reason, good answer. Okay. I don't like to text anyway, mm -hmm. but I should have texted more instead of getting into the situation. See, because you was with your friends. That's why I said it was almost similar. The only thing is that you didn't. It wasn't like you stayed out all night. Right. You were right. just gone longer than expected. Right. I trusted you. I didn't think my thought process is kind of what you said. And that's why I'm bringing it together. Okay. My thought process wasn't that you were out doing something you didn't have any your bit any business doing. Okay. My thought process was that what happened to him because last conversation we had was we're going to meet over at your mom's house. Right. So since that didn't happen, you didn't show up. Right. Going to voicemail. I had our son to call you. Going to I talked to him now. You know, I talked to him. He, but yeah. I was, but I was worried. I talked to him, and he just didn't communicate. But that's okay. I understand. I understand. Go ahead, finish it up. <laughs> but you talked to him, but you didn't communicate with me. So that was almost a, a situation similar to the one that your friend was involved in. I don't think it was. It was similar, but it wasn't quite as as extreme. As extreme. Reason, <laughs> reason why I'm saying it because because I was not late at night. Now you were Thank not. You, now, you were not out. I don't hang out late at night without you. You were not out to the next to. day. I you were, not yeah. You went out to the next day, but you did go out yeah. and uh, didn't communicate that. So I had didn't no idea. Didn't communicate well. Elaborate. You know, like that's my word, y'all. Elaborate. What I do you mean? I didn't communicate well. I did communicate with you. What, I just what, didn't what did you say? You and I, you know, had a conversation. We supposed to have met up, but the, you know, conversation went left. You know where I was headed, but you didn't know I was headed at that time. I guess I don't know. Because every year I do the same thing. Right. So it shouldn't shouldn't have been a conversation. But at the same time, like I said, I should have communicated even more, and I try to do better in that area. Yes. And that's what happens once you make a mistake, or once you create a situation, mm -hmm. and then we try to correct it. Our job is to continue to, you know, do it the same way so it won't happen again. Right. Because I don't want the same pattern to happen over and over again. You know, miscommunication. Or right. I'm messing up because of miscommunication. Or you messing up because exactly. of miscommunication. Exactly. We need to learn how to communicate better. Right. I think So that situation won't keep happening over and over and over again. And I think communication is key. Yes, communication is. was key in that situation. Communication is key in your relationship. Right. Again, how I always talk about in order for you to revise, restore, and reunite... All of that communication has to take place for any of that to occur. So I just wanted to bring that up, Killer. Yeah, because and, and then and I'm glad you brought it up because trust factor wasn't anything about that. You trust me, I trust I tr you. Right. You know, that right. wasn't we a trust thing each about other. that. Right. But, trust wasn't the issue. But even in, in the situation we're talking about, mm -hmm. trust plays a big part in that. Okay. You know, they have to learn how to build trust with each other in order to help the situation get better. Okay. Our friend that we're talking about now. Gotcha. You have to build trust even more now because I think if you, as more and more we build trust with each other, when these situations arise, you know, we say, well, I'm not, I'm not worried about not trusting this person. What's aroused? It comes up. You mean arrived? Yes. You said aroused. Okay. <laughs> arrived. As, as these situations arrive, I love it. Arrive, I love it. I as love these it. situations <laughs> arrive, right. you know, we can try to do better in that because right. trust. Uh, we have to learn how to trust each other more. We do, and then we won't worry as much. Right. We can't still worry, but we won't worry as much. And see, I, I wouldn't be worried if you were out that late. I wouldn't be worried about that you're doing something wrong. Okay. I'm just worried about that something may have happened to you or okay. something like that. Okay. So, that's what that's what trust does for us. And see, I think theirs may not have even been a trust issue i think it boiled down to what i asked you earlier it was the person that you were with or he was with i felt like 
I wasn't even worried about the person you were with. It, that wasn't an issue for right, me. Right. Our whole issue is that, to me, we did not communicate. Lack of communication lack was of our communication. part. There you go. Lack of communication. So because of our lack of communication, that's what took hours to another level. We were able to resolve it, and that's what we try to do, y'all. I'm just going to tell you, we what we try to do is identify what the issue is, yes. talk about it so we're able to resolve it. Because if we can't identify what the issue is, then that's a, Houston, we have a problem. The problem, right. But I just think it was the person that that, that that you're uh that they were with because if i was with a person that you was didn't trustworthy like, yeah you didn't like <laughs> like you said you knew their history you right. knew what they were like right. you knew all of that that to me would be that's an issue in itself. Yeah, itself absolutely absolutely so we have to again communicate that so how do you so okay that's a good one too i'm just saying so in the same situation, if I'm with that person, how do you communicate me not to continue being with this person? Even though I enjoy being with this person. Like I said, if it's my cousin, that's my cousin. That's who I like to hang out with. But if it's a person that you don't agree with or a person you don't like, how do we move past that or how do we come to an agreement, plan to deal with it to where we both get what we want? You have to pick you some new friends. Are you serious? You have to get you some new friends. Are I'm just about time. I'm glad you brought that up. Are you, you need to get you some new friends because the friends that you're hanging out with are keeping us confused. It's keeping conflict in our relationship, uh -huh. keeping conflict in our marriage. You got to get some new friends. You think we have to get that's new friends to because yes. of that? Are you I serious? Be I believe so. I believe that's what's going to have to take place. And, you know, I, I think that'll help us move to the next level. Okay. So you think if I get new friends, it's going to help us because. I was, just, I was just saying that it's going to be hard for you to <laughs> right. drop the old friend that you have and say, I need to find me some new friends. Exactly. But uh, slow down on it. Slow down on it because you used to have friends when you were single that got you in trouble. I think. You do? Yeah. <laughs> he said, he say, I look. Y'all say I look like I did. I had friends. To, yeah, when you were single, all the friends you used to hang out with, I didn't like those friends. You did Because they got you in trouble all the time. Every time I look around, you are with those friends. You're hanging out late at night. You know, you were doing you know, things that wasn't, you know, pleasing in my eyes. I don't, I don't think you necessarily didn't like the friends. I just think you didn't like that we hung out so late. And they were single and, you know, yeah. none of them were married. None of them looking to get married. Yeah, but we had you a good know. time. Yeah. And it wasn't a, it wasn't a negative impact. Influence. It wasn't so like I was what doing I did something. was I helped you gain new friends. Okay, I like that you said that. <laughs> so what you did, you didn't actually help me gain new friends. What did you do to help me? Because I think that's what the issue is. Because even if you tell me that you don't enjoy me being with this person. What can I do to help you? Yeah, what can you do to help better? me? Right. So I started showing you, you know, good things that we could do together okay. as a team. Okay. You know, we could go travel. We could go to plays. We could go to movies. We could go to different events to create an atmosphere for you and I to be in, to be happy, okay. to be enjoyable, to do things outside of just sitting at home and rocking in the rocket chair, <laughs> <laughs> twiddling our thumbs. So I, right. cre we, I created an environment that you were uh, enjoying, right? and it was better than the environment that your friends were in. You know what? And I like that you did that because I found myself, like you said, I found myself asking, they were asking me like, ooh, girl, you want to do this? Ooh, girl, you want to do this? I found myself saying, well, let me check with Kenna to see what he had planned because all of a sudden it was like Kenna just started having plans for us. And I was like, Doc, he got plans. I didn't realize he had plans. And then your friends were calling me, when are you going to let LaVita hang out with us? And sometimes I said, well, you got to ask her that question. I don't know. You know, yeah. maybe she likes hanging out with me. I maybe did. she likes hanging I out really, with you all. You we know? really started having a really good time. And I really enjoyed, <clears throat> excuse me, the time that we were spending together. Right. So that's what helped us to uh, move to another level. It's interesting that you did that, though, because it was almost like, I didn't see it coming. It wasn't like you, like, I ain't going to say you didn't plan it. I was about to say, okay. I was about to say, I was about to say, it was a plan. It was. it was a secret plan that you didn't know anything about. Right. And all I was trying to do was just lure you, sway you my way. Wow. So you could hang out with me more than you hung out with the girls. But you know what? I did not see that coming. Coming. You didn't. You at didn't. all. And so uh, to our friends that, that we're talking about now, or anyone out there who's having a situation like that, mm -hmm. that's what we need to create. We need to create an environment where the husband and wife or the friend, you know, has better time, spending better time with me than they would spend with their friends. Or you could be an influence on the friend that I don't like to help that friend to kind of see how you're going to allow yourself to dictate the relationship versus them dictating, dictating the relationship where you see that it's not a, a positive impact on you. Uh, yeah. 
I you guess don't so. think that? Uh, yeah, I guess so. But my, I think you could. I'm not yeah. necessarily saying don't. Uh, cause okay, cause in all honesty, you're not gonna just cut that friendship right. out. Right, I agree. That's not I gonna. Agree. We're not gonna just go tomorrow you and say you know what. You can kind of wing it slowly, slowly. Okay. You know, keep it at abroad. Maybe we can hang out once a month. Okay. Or maybe we can hang out every other month or something like that. But those times that you're hanging out with them is what I'm saying. Right. Right. Show them the positive. Show them that you're calling your wife. Show them that you're checking in with your wife. Show them the things that you're doing so that they can see and say, man, okay. And show them that 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 that, that, that they do like my friends tell me. They tell me all the time, Kenna, you a hen peck. I said, yes, I am hen peck. <laughs> and I do love the hen that's doing the peck. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. He always say that. I love so, when yes, Kenna say yes, that. Yes, yes. So it's okay <laughs> if they call you hen peck. It that's is. That's okay. But like you said, that should be a communication. Let them know that, hey, hey, man, when I'm away from my wife at the wrong period of time, I call her. Right. Or I text her. I let her know where I'm at right. so she won't be as wary. Right. Or you do the same. Let your friends know that, hey, you're away from your husband a long period of time. You're going to call him. You're going to let him know, hey, I'm away for a little while. I'll be back in another hour or so. Right. Or right. It's going to be longer than we expected. Because I think that's key. At the end of the day, y'all, it is key to have that line of communication. Right. A line of communication is key to any health. If you're trying to get a healthy relationship. Absolutely. Absolutely. And y'all notice what we always talk about. We're talking about a healthy relationship. Yes. In order to get a healthy relationship, you got to have that line of communication open. Right. And with that, you know, again, if you have that line of communication open, if there is a struggle, like I said, if you identify, discuss what the issue is, and, and then you're able to resolve it, that's moving in the right direction. Absolutely. And think about what we always talk about. If you're not, uh, you're, you're you're not in a good place, you got to re re reunite. Yes. You got to to, to revive it. Yeah. You got to revive it. I'm yeah. sorry, I went out of order. You got to revive it first, because what happened is. We we going this. Right. So once we revive it, we're able to restore. Uh -huh. And then at the end of the day, y'all, we yeah, able to really reunite unite. Yes. and come back together. Come back together, absolutely. So that's our recommendation for yes. that couple. Just yes. make sure y'all keep that line of communication open. open. Again, if you have some friends that they don't like, you know, hang out with, uh, you to me just take a lead and show them what it what it looks like, what a healthy relationship looks like. Don't absolutely. let them dictate to you what an unhealthy relationship looks like. We want you to let them see what a healthy relationship looks like. Absolutely. Thank you so much. That so, is great. So again, keep those emails coming. Don't forget to email me at the Davidson Intervention at gmail.com. Yes. Again, hit me up. Check out their website at www.thedavisonintervention.com. Hit us up in that email. Yes. And y'all, we appreciate y'all watching the Thank show. You so much. We look forward. And I'm going to close y'all out just to see this view. I know I went up. I want y'all to see this. Uh oh, I know my hands in the way. We want y'all to see this lovely view. we right here by the Chesapeake. Y'all see that? Bay. Yes. Chesapeake it is Bay. So we appreciate y'all. Y'all yes. have a good one. Yes. Bye. Bye. We enjoyed it. Yes.